All right, so what is good, everybody, on YouTube? This is, of course, your boy, B, Bullet RC, coming at you guys again with yet another video. And as you guys can see, today we got a big box with two pairs of sneakers inside. A big box, a big box of blessings. Now, I went ahead and just had the production team, which you guys can't see, but behind the camera, I went ahead and had them do the unboxing for me. So can we just, uh, can we roll that footage? One second. So as you guys saw, we got into the box and inside, once again, gotta say big shouts out to Puma and thank you for them sponsoring this video. If you guys wanna check out any of the stuff that you guys are about to see, a link will be down below. Now, they actually sent me over a package, this big Puma Hoops box, which I definitely dig. Um, and then I had got two pairs of shoes with this. So this is just the box, the like promo Puma Hoops box. And I got a little bit of B-roll of it because it actually is a pretty, Pretty cool box, Puma Hoops on the top. Almost like a slight 3D effect on the top and you just have the Puma Uproar Palace Guard all over the box. So obviously you guys know at least one of the pairs that we got, but let me move this stuff around real quick. Now, with the big box in the back, I also got this card with everything. It just says, hey CB, introducing the Uproar Palace Guard, a tribute to the 90s, don't flinch at Puma Hoops and at Puma Sports Style. So appreciate them. And shouts out to them as always. I'm gonna go ahead and place that right there. But we got two shoes. Now this first shoe right here is the Uproar Palace Guard. And this shoe is actually inspired by the shoe in this green box. Um, and this one was sent over and this is just a new Puma basketball sneaker. Now the most interesting thing to me was that, um, you know, they went with that more traditional leather on the top or on the upper of these. And then towards the back, you guys know, I forgot exactly what shoe it was, but it had all the energy beads um, on it. And with this one, they've actually molded the Ignite foam with the energy beads. And that's supposed to give you like explosive movement, energy return and whatnot back here in the heel. Now this specific colorway, the reds, the blues, the grays, the whites, um, the reason this is called the Palace Uproar or the Palace Guard Uproar is because it is inspired by this sneaker right here, which is admittedly my favorite from the whole pack. And this is the OG Palace Guard. Now, before they mentioned sending this over to me, this was not a shoe that I was acknowledgeable about at all. But learning about it um, and back in 1989 and 1990, it was actually worn by Isaiah Thomas for back-to-back -back championships, back-to-back -back chips in this exact sneaker. Now, the card on the inside says Palace Guard 1989, and it has some literature. I'm not gonna read through all of it, so I'll spare y'all, but if you wanna go ahead and read it, I have left the B-roll up on the screen so you guys can pause and read and then come back. Either way, I was more excited about this particular sneaker right here because I know I could work this one in a little bit more um, with my style. And since this is an older shoe that they're just retroing at this point, I'm really glad that they went ahead and did kind of like that yellowed out outsole kind of definitely adds to that vintage um, look to it. And this is really the definition of a pair of, uh, of sneakers. The low cut, not too loud, not too out there colorway, just something you can really wear with whatever. Um, I think sneakers like this really do well with those people that you know like to wear like chinos, maybe let the ankles hang out a little bit, some slight high water action. I think this shoe is one of those shoes that works really well with that or a good pair of sweatpants or even just a good pair of tapered denim. You guys are gonna see on some of the B-roll I'm putting the Uproar Palace Guard and the OG Palace Guard on and it's just with my Subi denim, the all black jeans that I'm usually wearing in any on feet that I was. And those don't have the most extreme taper but it's a good taper so you can kind of see how these would look sitting on your feet personally and I really really dig the bottom um, of the sneaker as well. Just the overall vintage feel of this sneaker is what really pulls me to this one um, and I really dig like I don't know it feels like a terry cloth almost like a towel feel um, right around here around the angle collar and whatnot but listen man that is it for today's video just a quick double unboxing on the uproar palace guard as well as the OG palace guard from Puma um, 1989. 1989 that was 30 years ago 30 years ago this sneaker dropped and um on the 30th year anniversary they're bringing it back and this one does come in at under 100 bucks at only 90 doll hairs 90 dollars 
off the hip, which in my opinion is a great price point for a sneaker like this. So listen, man, that is it. Much love to all the fam followers and of course supporters. You guys can follow me on Instagram, Twitter, SoundCloud, Snapchat. The Snapchat is bull.cb by the way. Here, they are buzzed of course. I mean, I got them both right here. So bullet RC and I'm gonna see y'all on the next video. Once again, just wanted to give a big thanks and shouts out to Puma for sponsoring the video. Really, really digging these and thank you for the uproars as well. I'm gonna see y'all in the next video. Y'all be easy. I am out of here. Peace. Hey. So when the shooting starts, she throw me neck, yeah. She's so good with this shit, I might wreck.